you've interviewed and filmed quite a diverse group in the Did You Have Any Idea series. How did you choose who to film? Well, initially, um, I didn't choose. It was more about the people who actually wanted to step forward. Right. Um, and what happened was, I think the thing had been running for nearly a year, um, and I got on a bus to Canberra because I'd heard a few days earlier that Christine Assange was going there, and I'd heard it weeks before, but I was supposed to be working, teaching that day, um, because I teach uh, video. And um, and somebody said, oh, oh, God, she really needs support, you know. Mm. Um, and there was, a, there was an air of uh, despair in, in, the, in, the, in, in the, the message, you know. That, and sure enough, uh, well, I, I, I actually rang my, my school and changed, changed my, my schedule so that I could go to Canberra. And I got up mm. at five, 5 o'clock that morning, 4.30 that morning, and nice. it's, um, I think it was quarter to six. So I was there standing by the bus with all, you know, three cameras and tripods, and, and Christine noticed me straight away as the person with all the film <laughs> gear, you know, more than anybody else, you know, and she was looking at me, you know, and I didn't know who the hell she was. Mm. I didn't know what Christine looked like. Sure. And um, I kind of drifted over that way at one point, and uh, um, there was a, there was a journalist there talking to her, and and I don't know, I had kind of, I, I said to him, "Oh, are you the one who wrote?" And I said, "I've referred to your article, and 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 whatever Christine said, I got the impression that she was another journalist." And I was just about to say, oh, "What's the name of your article?" You know, when <laughs> somebody said, "Oh, Lord," so um, when we got to Canberra. Uh, we were getting off the bus, and um, there was the Stop the War Coalition, um, and that was organised by a Socialist Alliance. The, the, so the, the majority of the people were there mm. because President Obama mm. was in Australia to sign the Australia-US alliance right, with right. Julia Gillard and yes. give lots of oh, nice one. hugs. Um, <laughs> Barack and Obama sitting in a tree. Did K-I-L-L-I-N-G. Your... Exactly. Um, isn't that what they were saying? Did you take um, your American flag to wave with you? No, no, no. And... Uh, and in fact, this guy that I was sitting beside, who who was the other journalist, and I still don't know his name to this day, because I knew nobody, you know, and I'd never been on a, a mm. demo before, and I just was a little bit sort of like, oh, God, who are these people, you know? Mm. And I, I'm like, oh, should I take my camera out, you know? Will they sue me? Or will they be hostile? Yeah. And um, at one point he told me that the woman sitting, you know, on the, the almost opposite and writing furiously and then deleting things and then going, you know, and she looked to- so worried, was Christine. Nice. And, um, you know, I didn't dare go near her because she was so concentrated on putting the final touches on her, her speech. But uh, uh, he was making placards. And um, when we were getting off the bus, you know, he was handing them out. And I said, I'll take the WikiLeaks one, please. <laughs> and Christine just looked up at me and gave me a big smile, you know. And, uh, and so I filmed her um, walking up that really steep hill, which was a horrendous experience yeah. for both of us because it was steep, it was 38 degrees. We were both terrified. Mm. And Christine may come across as a, you know, a, a hard lady, but, you know, I've been told that a few years ago she's, you know, very, very gentle. She's, yeah. I think it's more of a facade when you come close to the real Christine. She's... Uh, She's very gentle, and mm. I'm not going to say she's fragile because no. she's got a great mind, and uh, she can be tough um, when she's facing that op- opposition. Mm. But you just have to look at her in Ecuador and see how she, relaxed she was, and or at that dinner, um, the Green Left uh, Weekly uh, dinner, uh, she she was in, in front of friendly people, and the real person comes out. So she, but she was she was very nervous, and uh, she looked like she was going to faint. And at one point she said, uh, it just, you know, we had to shout, you know, and, it, and there was all these kind of rhymes and we had a bit of a discussion about that. Mm. But at one point she said, oh, can you stay with me? And I felt that that meant much more than now, right? Mm. Mm. And so uh, I did and I you know, put out that little film. And, um, and then a couple of days later uh, we talked to each other by telephone for about three hours. Mm-hmm. And I, you know, I told her I'd really like to do something 